Hey guys, Jay Nass here. What is up, guys? This is a uh, PM9 mob on the map Arcade, and I'm gonna try to continue my FFA series. Just when I get the maps, because it's starting. To... What you doing, Leroy? But it's it's getting hard to uh, get the maps that I want to play and mob them every time. So it's getting kind of uh kind of difficult. I think my next uh, FFA gameplay will probably be on Mission or Lockdown with the MP5, and then after that I'll go full try hard for the last map. And I'm not too sure if that will be what map that will be, but um. Anyways, if I'm lagging a little bit, it, it'll fix itself later in the gameplay. So let me talk about the PM9 and what they did with the buff. They reduced visual and gun recoil, so it makes it a little bit better. Um, it still sucks dick long range. It's good medium to short range. Uh, short range, you should just hit fire since it has some of the best hip firing on it. You may even want to run like steady aim. If you're in ground war, steady aim is your third perk and just hip fire it. So that's just a little tip with the PM9. I'm using extended mags and silencer. Uh, didn't take me too long to level it up, but like I said, it just the ADS is a lot better as you guys can see. I killed that guy from pretty long away, uh, pretty long distance. So they made it a little bit better, but it's it's still no MP7, P90, PP90. This is the second worst gun in the game. The worst now is the MP5. The new buff on the MP5 actually made it worse in my opinion. I'm not too sure. Um, it was viable when I was using it, now it seems like it just has so much recoil I can't use it, so. That's just my little little rant on the MP5, I think it's the worst submachine gun in the game now, but. How to mob Arcaden, and this one is fucking tricky, because this map has the worst spawns uh, today, and as you guys see, I'm playing it really safe and really slow, and that's what you're going to have to do on Arcaden, you're going to have to get in this building, and you're going to have to sound horror which way they're coming from, if you don't have a headset, um, if you have Sitrep Pro, hopefully you can hear it like, maybe you can get a speaker on the left or the right and then you can understand what side they're coming from, that might help you, but this map is mostly sound horn and you just want to hold this, you just really want to hold this spot. Uh, it gets real tricky at times when they start spawn. you'll kill a guy down here and they'll spawn right above the staircase, so uh, the revenge spawn system is in effect really bad on this map. And as you see, I, that guy has a sniper rifle, and I don't want to mess with him. That's why I put a couple shots in him and then just backed off. And sometimes you got to do that uh, when you see a sniper. And this is the part I think I killed the sniper a bunch of times. I'm not too sure. No, it's not. But earlier you guys saw me. I killed the sniper down low. I killed him at the top of the stairs, and then he spawned in this room. So you have to be careful at all times of the spawn system. It is it's fucking terrible. So... What I do is I play it safe in here. I play really passive, and I let the enemies come to me, which is the perfect... The perfect way to play this map, in my opinion, you gotta let the enemies come to you in this one. And, um, you should be able to pick up a mo fairly easy. This is one of the harder maps, like I said. I think this and Lockdown, actually Lockdown's not too bad if you, uh, go to the spot where I'm gonna show you guys when I get my next one. And then Mission's pretty difficult too, because it's non-stop rush. And, like I said, just play passive on this map. Just let them come to you. It should be fairly easy. And, uh, just run back and forth throughout this little this little area and you should get it so I hope you guys enjoy the PM9 FFA Moab I'm gonna continue the series once I get the mission and lockdown I think I'm done with it so hope you guys enjoy I'll be so slap back